If you want to learn how to create a simple, professional-looking lettermark logo for your Twitch stream just like this, welcome to this channel and welcome to this three-part series where in each part of the series, I'm going to teach you how to design a different type of logo for your stream. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the lettermark, but we'll also have one for the badge-style logo and the ever-so-famous mascot logo. So if you want to check out those other videos, they'll be linked uh, at the end of this video in the end screen, but we'll also have them down in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out as well. With that said, let's get over into Canva. Does your stream need healing? Then you've come to the right place. My name is Dr heels and I'm your content cleric and around here we make videos just like this to help you level up your stream using free or cheap and simple tools and so today as we do often we're working in Canva so go ahead and open up canva.com while you're doing that. If you don't have an account, go ahead and set one up. If you need a uh, Canva Pro, I'll have a 45 day free trial link down below for you to use that. Uh, with that said, once you get Canva opened up, let's go ahead and dive in. By the way, as I'm setting this up, just know um, if you're not already subbed, you definitely should because on all three of these logos, we're gonna be making a second series where we're making overlays for each of these logos in the style. And so uh, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Uh, hit the little bell for the notifications and all that good stuff. But all right, now we're in Canva. We're gonna go ahead and hit create a design. Um, we can choose any size we want, but since I'm working on logos, I'm just gonna go with the logo design, which is just 500 by 500. So for this series, I wanted to just make up three different logo styles and I, I could use username 264 like we do often, but I went ahead and decided to leverage chat GPT and I had it come up with five gamer names for me. I couldn't decide, so I said, hey, just randomize three of them and give them to me and so this is what we got. So uh, I'm just gonna do them in the order. Our letter mark we're working on today will be Blaze Storm. Uh, the badge logo will be Vortex Gamer. Uh, and then the mascot logo will be Cyber Ninja, which I think worked out quite well. So let's go ahead, jump back over here. We're gonna be working on Blaze Storm. So I'm just gonna copy that. Um, I'm just going to press T to get a text here and I'll paste that name in here just so I don't forget it. It's just there for me so that I remember. If this is your username, you probably don't have to worry about forgetting it, but just in case. So we can look at this a few different ways. So we're wanting to make a word mark logo. So the best and easiest way is to just make sure we're on our little design tab over here and where it says search logo templates. I'm just gonna type in a B. Uh, because I'm looking for a letter mark. I just want a logo with the letter B. And there are tons of options, right? Um, and this is gonna be true with anything. If you type in T, you're gonna get tons of options, right? So whatever your name is, my name is Dr. Heels. I could type in D and there are tons of options. I actually didn't go this route when I created my logo. So this is kind of cool to see some neat ideas here. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll go back with B and see what we have. Now I gotta remember my name is Blaze Storm. And so, you know, something like this, um, I'm just gonna replace the current page. Something like this works really well because it already kind of has this fire in it. And so all I then have to do is change out this. And I'll, I'll show you guys a few um, design tips too. If you're new here, um, I'm not just a, a gamer and, and, and streamer. I've actually been a graphic designer for 12 years. And so that's kind of how I got into this niche of doing this kind of stuff is just, uh, trying to teach graphic design to, to streamers and gamers. And so something like this, I think works really well. Um, and maybe we go ahead and change up and we'll take our colors to a, I think red makes sense with, with Blaze Storm, right? I don't like how big this font is. So this is something that I've always said, if you want your logos to feel a little more professional, bring your font size down. I don't mind this font actually. I was gonna go Futura Bold, which is a beautiful font, but this looks nice too. Uh, so I brought my font size down and then I'm just gonna bring my, what is called my kerning. Sorry, it's already uppercase. Um, right here in spacing, I'm gonna bring my kerning up. And so I could just stretch it out there all the way to 800. Holding down Alt, kind of sizes it out, bring this in just a little bit more. And I feel like that to me feels a lot more professional than what we had even before. And so this is good. I'm gonna actually just create a new page. Um, and maybe what we do here, we would make this background black, uh, cause I think that looks a little more I don't know, gamer-esque and intimidating, make the text white. And I think we're onto something. This looks pretty good. This has already a natural curve to it. So we could always come into effects over here, hit our curve button and, and kind of curve our text around. If we wanted to, you know, toy with this, do something like this, I'm just gonna, I'm roughly, I'm roughly guessing at it. Um, you know, I don't know. You can kind of, you could toy with that how you want. That's not necessarily a style I'm wanting to go for. So I'm gonna control Z our way back out. And there we go. I think that is a done logo. Like that is a, a, 
a good logo. So let's keep looking. That was just one. Um, this is the the letter. This is the one I actually went with, but I didn't realize it was in a logo over here already. And so um, I'll show you how to design one from scratch, probably using that uh, in just a moment. And so, yes, as we, we go through, there's going to be plenty, um, but you could always get on um, something like Mid Journey. And so Mid Journey is what I'm going to be using in the mascot portion of this series. Uh, but you could get on Mid Journey and type in, make a minimal letter B uh, icon that is minimal and simple uh, and on fire or something like that, right? And then it would make that for you. Let's try it. Okay, and so this is what Mid Journey made. I could easily use, you know, I think this one has the, the most of what I was looking for. It's not perfect. I would probably still tweak it a little bit more. This one's pretty good how it has the flames as the B. Pretty impressive, really. Uh, but so this is just some other things you can toy around with. Mid Journey, of course, your first 25 prompts are free. Uh, and so you could go ahead and do that. Of course, if you're using, you know, Dolly or Stable Diffusion or any other image creators, you could use something like that as well. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna stick with what is already in Canva. And so uh, just still looking through the letter Bs here, just seeing what there is, if anything else would fit our brand of Blaze Storm just a little bit better. Um, I love how clean this is, but it doesn't fit. Um, also really like the look and feel of this, but again, I don't think it fits. We have this one that I can tell it's a B and it's meant to be a flame, but to me it's not as legible. Um, so I'm not gonna use that one. And I can just keep, keep scrolling. Uh, we're not in a rush here, so we're just gonna kinda make it as we go. Okay, and this one actually, you know, to me, it, it's a bit more simple, a bit minimal, but because it's the B with the lightning bolt, the name is Blaze Storm, if you remember. So just like this, um, this has potential. I don't know, let's just, let's, let's adjust it just a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't seem for whatever reason that we can edit the color of the, uh, of the lightning bolt. So I, I don't know, I don't know if this is maybe just put together, but this is kind of giving me some ideas. So let's toy around with this for a minute. Let's just put a T here and we'll do a B. Let's find a font that we like for this. Okay, let's, uh, let's go with Horizon and let's go over here to our elements and look up lightning. We'll do lightning bolt. I have an idea. Just just stick with me for a minute. We'll see if we'll see if it works. It may not work. Do we like the colors? I think I want to darken. I kind of want to go back with the green that was in the other one. I thought that was a really, really cool feeling green. In this case, let's make it white. I think that has a cool feel to it. Now, let's see if I can do this. All right. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna press control C, control V to make a copy of it. I'm gonna hit crop on this one, and I wanted to cut this section off of it. Just like that. And then this one that's behind it, I'm gonna hit crop, and I'm gonna cut this section off of it. And if I did that correctly, which I did not, it should appear that it goes behind the B which is exactly what we were looking for. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I actually like this being white. Let's just make this green and keep that going. Change all, nope, not like that. All right, same on this one. And now we have this lightning bolt kind of going through the B. And so now we're doing something a little bit interesting. This is just completely off the cuff, um, me just making something up uh, like we do a lot. All right, so let's uh, group this together. You know, maybe size it down, holding down my alt key just a little bit. Now we're here. I think that has a cool feel to it. Um, I kind of want to do like a, I don't know, I'm trying not to go too far because this wasn't my original idea. This is just what has happened. And this is the cool thing about design, guys. If you've never really gotten into design is you can sit down and do one thing and have one idea in your mind and then it explodes into something else. Um, and that's what's happening right here. And so. I'm actually, this font is Horizon, and I really like Horizon, but you're gonna see the problem with Horizon. It is a very, I don't, you know, I, I, was, I was on my way to say something, and then it went and corrected me, because I actually, I don't mind it. All right, so let's see, let's just toy around with this for a second. I don't wanna go too crazy with it, because we are having a little bit of like craziness happening over here with this, but I feel like my, my size and stuff is actually pretty good. Let's go into our effects here. And what if we added um, just a shadow? And what if I made that shadow our green color like we have? And I'm going to offset it just a little bit more. I don't want any blur on it, and I want it to be fairly visible. 
I'm really kind of going for that Gatorade look, I think. Size it off. I'm gonna offset it kind of to the max. I think we're getting somewhere. I think this has a, a really, really cool feel. I'm gonna make a copy of it. Um, and I'm going to make the background black. And now I'm going to make my font white. I'm just seeing if this feels any better or, or maybe it doesn't, you know? Part of design is trial and error. Yeah, okay, I don't think it feels as good. I think the, the, the green looks better on the black than it does on the white. We tried it. But let's say, what if we make the background green? What if we make our background green and we make our lightning bolt? And that is an interesting look. I think that looks kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, th this was just kind of off this idea and, and we came up with this. I think uh, both are good, both are good. Um, I kind of wish I could italicize the text because I do like the lean that this one has. Um, both are good, but if I'm going like completely like custom, I think that this actually came out looking really cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But all right, let's get back to what you actually seen at the very beginning where I said, hey, we'll make like that logo. Maybe I'll change it to that logo, I don't know. Anyway, so let's just go back to our elements. I'll show you a different way to make it and we'll move forward. All right, we're gonna do a B, just a B. And now we're looking in our graphics. We can tell there's frames, and so we could absolutely do something with that if we wanted to. And so if you're not familiar, a frame is where um, you can take an image, right, and put it inside of the frame, and it cuts it out. So could do something with that. We're not going to. So let's go back to our elements. Go back to B. I'm gonna go under graphics. I'm gonna hit C all. Now you can see there are already a ton of options, ton of things we can do. Um, there's a lot here. I think this is really, really cool. I mean, that'd be cool, like streamer logo if it's like your your uh, signature or something, right? Like there's a J, uh, I guess, well, that's my actual name, not my gamer name. All right, so this is the one I was gonna go with, uh, but this one's kind of cool too, if we wanna go like that graffiti look. I don't know, there's there's a lot here, honestly, and, and this one's pretty good. This one I think is really cool. Uh, this one right here, okay, we'll we'll go with this one. Maybe this will be the one I showed at the beginning, because um, it's kind of bringing, never mind. Look at this, look, as, as I'm looking, look at what I'm finding. All right, not only do I find this, but now I find it with a gradient. Yes, okay, a whole bunch of yes, all right. Excellent, we're gonna go with this one, I think works perfect for Blaze Storm. Now there's no way to edit the gradient, which is a little disappointing, but it's still there, and I think it looks really cool, and as you can see, if you like this style, there are uh, plenty that have the gradient. So there we go, we're gonna stick with this one. I think this looks really good. I want it, what color background, let's see. So it kind of works with the black background. So we're gonna stick with the black background. I'm gonna go and add my text in here, which is of course Blaze. And you can see all my settings, my text are already there and I'm probably not gonna change them, except make it big, right? Uh, we'll go over here and make sure my spacing is all the way it is. I accidentally added a, no, oh, quit that. Yeah, something like that. I think it looks pretty good. I kind of wish I could up my kerning just a little bit more. So maybe we'll bring this one up just a little bit. Or maybe we we line it up. You see, you have this hard edge right here. Maybe we line it up to that hard edge. Like this, you know? You see my arrow buttons to move it like that. Maybe that's sort of what we do. I mean, I think that has a pretty cool feel. Um, it is a, a simple letter mark logo. And so as you can tell, uh, some people would say letter marks are boring. I think they're boring. Right? No, no, letter marks are awesome. I'm not saying letter marks are boring. I'm saying the people say that are boring. Because you can do a lot with a letter mark. As you can see in just a few minutes, we've made three completely different letter mark logos for Blaze Storm. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. I'm trying to keep these short. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful for you and that you can use this tutorial to make yourself an awesome letter mark logo. But hey, if you wanna make a badge style logo or a mascot style logo, I'm gonna have them right around here somewhere on the screen so you can click on that. But hey, also I'll have it down in the description. And if uh, whenever the overlay videos for all of these designs are out, I'll make sure to have them linked down in the description as well. So check there especially if it's been a week or so since this video has been posted. All right, that's it, guys. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you in the next one.